Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today's video is going to be my spring scents. So today I decided to do a, a different format because um, I um, wasn't a no-buy. I actually plan to extend my no-buy, but at this point in time, my no-buy is over for a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out if whether I want to buy more perfume or add more in my collection. So even though I'm no longer in a no-buy, I still want to maintain a um, the mindset, which is I try to be more considerate on my purchases because this is a tough year because of inflation. Since my no-buy is over, I have no problem in purchasing new perfume, but I just want to make sure and that I truly need that perfume. So before I go ahead and recommend you guys a perfume for spring, let's go through my cabinet together with you guys to pick the perfume that is wearable for spring. And then let's see if there's any scent profile that's missing that I would like to purchase, you know? Okay, so my cabinet is divided into different sections. This is the um, easy reach. And then I do have a spring and summer collection kind of mixed up right here. Um, and this is the um, going out type of scent. And these are the fall and winter type of scent. So for this exercise, I might end up splitting this two into spring and summer. And then this one would be my easy reach, and this one would be my going out, and this one is going to be my fall and winter. So before we do that, I'm going to pull out all the spring appropriate scent and put it on the floor. Okay, so when I think of spring, I think of flowers. I think of happy, um, peony, rose, orange blossom. So yeah, I think for spring is for sure. Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme as well as Killian Love Don't Be Shy so these two are for sure spring Mysticology the Rose is definitely spring um, let's see, this is Luton's Datour Noir, no, that's a summer I think this just might be too soapy though this might be a summer but it is also spring appropriate I'm just gonna include it for now. Dialogue with Venus is definitely spring. Jessica Fancy, I could see this being a spring scent. Okay, let's see. Not for the Bengal. Martin Mikalev Mon Parfum Crystal is a spring scent for sure. Not sure about the Luna exclusive. Um, I think lipstick on is a spring scent maybe not well I mean it is a whole year type of scent but there's a violet maybe violet is a spring Harris Prude, Santal Basmati, One Talenti no this is more like a summer I don't know not the Lena exclusive for sure Okay, let's see. In the section spring is La Danza for sure. Zoologist Cow. This is definitely spring summer. Attire Hayati. Spring summer. Guys, so looks like I have plenty of spring scents. I probably don't need to go shopping. Like, I'm just going through my cabinet and it looks like I have plenty of scent that are definitely spring appropriate. Like, a lot of these are vanilla. Um, like Acro Wake, this is an old all year round because this is more like coffee, vetiver. Um, it's not exactly floral, but definitely you could wear it all year round. Yeah, I think I'm gonna include this in spring because I just smell it and it, I, I just think that this is a spring appropriate. These are universal vanilla for sure. These are universal vanilla, so I'm not gonna even pull that out for spring. I think this is definitely spring and summer. But it's also vanilla, so you could do it fall and winter as well. 
Um, let's see. Lavenders. I think Lipstick Bros is spring appropriate. So this is spring. And root smoking. So I'm just gonna pull them all here and then I'm gonna scan through them again and then pull out the one that's not so appropriate. This rolling in love. Okay, so trust cherry. I think it's spring appropriate for sure. Um, this one is spring appropriate. I mean, even though this are going out sen, I still think I could pull this out for some spring appropriate sen. Let's see, Royal Earth. Yeah, that is spring appropriate. Okay, so what's left? Princess, Minuida Demi. I think these are more heavier type of scent that I don't think, I don't know. I just don't see it as spring appropriate as of now. Nope, none right here. I think one talent he is spring appropriate, but this is more like a universal. There's something light and foodie about it even though it is in the gourmand categories so um yeah so let's go through it again i'm gonna sniff every single one of them dialogue with venus is definitely spring appropriate this is really 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 nice it's a peach gummy warm with musk and the musk is super long lasting I'm not a nosmic to this mus. It is somewhat of a clean mus, but there's some dirtiness to it too that makes it sexy for bedtime sin and definitely is spring appropriate. So I'm going to put it here. This is a yes. I think Rolling in Love is also spring appropriate. This is really nice. Reminds me a little bit of a Carol Nahara good girl. But this is done way better. I think this is spring appropriate. Okay, so Buon Talenti, as much as I want to recommend it, I don't think this is that of a spring. This is more like a universal fruity, coconutty scent. So I'm going to put this one back right here. I think Safa Nut is definitely spring appropriate. This is a no. Okay, so for spring, I'm gonna pick Love Don't Be Shy Extreme because there is rose in it. So I guess my idea of spring is it has floral, it has this fun, flirty quality to it. Yeah, this is definitely spring, summer appropriate. I'm gonna put it here. This is a uh, apple juice. Um, I really, really like it. Yeah, I really like this one as well. I think this is a spring appropriate. I really, really like it. Uh, Martin McAuliffe Mon Parfum Cristal is spring appropriate. It's a rose and caramel and a hint of oud. A tariati is a no because, well, I mean, you could wear it for spring, definitely, but for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna put it in the spring section just because this is more like, I don't know, it's more like berry sherbet, so it's a no. You could wear Jessica Simpson Fancy all year round, and I do smell apricot and uh, some flowers in it, so it's flirty, flowery enough, and it's a cheapy, and I really like it. Definitely something that you could wear during spring. Acrowake. This is definitely spring appropriate. Chloe Vanilla Planifolia. This is spring appropriate for sure. Royal Earth. It's a little bit too sad, I feel like. There is iris floral in here, but it's not floral enough. It doesn't really... I don't know, you guys. This is just my preference. I just associate that more for other season. I mean, that's just how my brain categorizes things. The Musicology of the Rose 
is definitely spring appropriate. This is Rose Base. Same goes with Lipstick Rose. This is too much Tonka Bean for spring. Yeah, this is definitely is for spring appropriate. So, okay, these are not just spring scents because I have a tendency to buy something that I would wear throughout the year. I um, used to buy a whole lot more and I used to declutter a lot. But now I think I've reached a point where I really, really do enjoy everything that I own in my collection. I could pare them down a lot more. I could definitely declutter a lot more, but I'm still hanging them on for a reason. I'm gonna put this one back to my cabinet or just put it on the side for now. But these are my spring recommendation. These are what I'll personally define within my collection what a spring scent should be. Um, so these are what I recommend you guys to try out. Definitely you don't have to buy it, just sample it or just try to go to Fragrantica and then go through each scent and figure it out if you have something similar to it. Like I said, I love scent and I know you guys do too. And I'm not going to um, insist you guys to buy these. These are just my recommendation based on what I already own. So yeah, these are my uh, spring scent pick. If you guys like this format of video, please let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.